Okay, hi guys. Today I will show you how I managed to solve Integrity's January XSS challenge the intended way. So first, uh, I always start with uh, source code in inspection. I look in the into source code of the, of the page and we know that our main goal is to uh, pop an alert on this page, uh, which means we can uh, execute arbitrary code. And also we have to alert the content of the flag. So there is nothing interesting besides the script uh, that we see here, but we'll take a look at it uh, from uh, DevTools. In the DevTools, uh, there is source, sources tab. You can select the script uh, that we want to view. It's like an, an editor in um, DevTools. As you can see, uh, the file is not that long. It's only 38 lines of code. First, what the script does, it takes the parameters, it parses it, and then it takes the R parameter from the URL and it creates a global, global variables with name R. Um, then it iterates over document and window and it iterates over all variables that are in ob object document and in object window. If the variable is type string, it check if the string contains word JavaScript. If it does, it will remove it. So if you want to see what variables are checked, we can write some JavaScript code. So let's do object.keys in window. So as, as you can see, guys, uh, there are a lot of properties on, in this object, but not all of them are um, string type. And also uh, we can do the same for document. And in the document, uh, there are less things. Uh, for example, this location. Um, yeah, so that, that's all. Then uh, it creates an event uh, that will be fi fired when the pages load. And what it does, it, it takes all the links on the page, the anchor uh, tags, uh, it iterates over them and it creates on click event on each of them. If user clicks on the on the link on the page, it will execute the function instead and it will prevent default, which means uh, you won't be redirected to the page um, that the link points to. There is a line uh, if the R, uh, the variable that was defined at the beginning is not uh, undefined, which means if there is some value, uh, it will execute the safe redirect uh, function with that value. The, the main function of the challenge is safe redirect. Uh, it's quite interesting. So what it does, it takes as a parameter the URL. First, it checks if the URL contains a couple of char characters. If we don't understand what is um, what the uh, regex means, we can copy that and open it in the in the regexer. Paste, and as you can see, the regex mean uh, the characters cannot be uh, lower than, greater than, so it cannot be space, a single quote, and double quote. So then, if the if the URL contains one of the characters, it will. Uh, alert invalid URL if the URL provided does not contain these characters, um, then it will go into this uh, if body. There it will first um, create a timeout that will be called uh, in five seconds and then it adds uh, to the inner HTML some pop-up. As, as you can see that the uh, URL is put into HTML, so you probably are thinking that, oh wow, what an easy XSS, and yeah, uh, we'll use that uh, to execute code on that page. We have to bypass the verification here, but we'll do, do this later. So let's take a look what happens after the five seconds uh, when the timeout uh, finishes. It will check if the URL starts with HTTPS, 
Uh, if so, it will just redirect to the URL. If no, it will uh, redirect us to the location of window origin parameter, which for this page is or origin is challenge. It will add uh, the specified URL. So it is the URL will be treated as path in this location. And uh, if you are not redirected, it will show an error for you. So we can identify all the uh, things in this code that can lead to XSS. So as I mentioned before, uh, one thing is the inner HTML and another is the window location. We know that um, we can't simply put the script tags into URL. We can first try with some uh, with the R par parameter here. Uh, we'll add the breakpoint uh, in this function. Okay, I will refresh that. Add again it. So I added breakpoint at this moment. And as I said before, if the R is defined and it is because we set the uh, parameter in the URL. The function save redirect is called with the value we provided. We can step further, can observe all of uh, what I said, and we are redirected to this uh, path. We can set another breakpoint in the sync. So we won't be redirected after the five seconds. Uh, pop, the pop, pop over uh, should be created. We can uh, look for it in the um, HTML. And actually there is a popover there at the top uh, and there is um, our payload in the ref attribute. How can we escape the attribute? As you can see, there are no quotes there. So uh, we could do um, some injection. We could inject arbitrary attributes to that link. So how we can do that? You can test, for example, uh, the equals uh, character and if we do that uh, we'll skip further as you can see uh, nothing specta spectacular happened we still have only one uh, attribute which is ref so we can test other characters uh, for example uh, the new line and we can use group for that the community 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 edition will be enough so we can create a new line here and as you can see uh, there, there is a only new line and we can encode it, it as url and what happens if we put it somewhere in the string uh, again, we hit the breakpoint and as you can see, there is a new line uh, between those strings. We go further and something really interesting happened. Um, the string uh, is split in half and we injected um, attribute which with the name and value. It is a pretty important thing in this exploit and we'll use it later. And yeah, we are redirected to, the, to this value. The another part of the challenge is quite tricky. So we have to use the information if some attribute in a window or, or document object contains word script, it will be removed. Um, and uh, we can have an idea to, to add a um, subdomain to the URL JavaScript. And what it will do, uh, right now, we can access the window origin. When we add the JavaScript to the URL and refer the page, we check and the origin is undefined. Uh, this is because origin contains now the JavaScript word. And how we can use that? Uh, right now, the origin is removed and we can look where we are redirected. We are redirected to undefined slash uh, the rest of, of the URL. And what if we overwrite the origin? We can use DOM clobbering. First, uh, we discovered that we can add arbitrary uh, attributes to this A tag. And what we can do is we can add ID origin 
let's refresh that and see what what will happen so uh okay uh i messed up something uh we have to add the javascript subdomain okay we are here uh, we step further we wait five seconds oh we should resume the execution and let's see um window origin right now is our tag here because this is a feature of browser uh, that if we uh, create some element with id uh, it will create an uh, object uh, in global scope uh, of window and it will create it only if the variable name is not used in the window object so so if we uh, print window origin we'll have access our our link so the value be before the new line uh, we will be put into the ref of the a tag here so what if we add some arbitrary link there uh, for example attacker.com and refresh that we have the link with with that uh, ref and if we check the origin uh, origin now is override with our value because uh, window origin uh, points to the html tag and it has a special property if we turn it to string uh, it will take the value of ref and it is commonly used in in dom clobbering okay so right now uh, we can simply add instead of attacker.com we can add some uh, for example javascript javascript alert one but but th there is one thing to remember we remove all values from the global objects that contain word javascript at the beginning of the script we create uh, our variable uh, with the value we provided and it contains javascript uh, to bypass that we can change the uh, lowercase to uppercase letter and right now uh, we should get redirected uh, to javascript and we should see alert so right now uh, we are uh, we are in okay uh, so, so something strange happened uh, I will write it again javascript alert one and we wait five, five seconds and we we are here so if we resume the execution uh we should see alert but something bad happened um okay we have to add one thing uh because right now um, the script that will be executed will be our javascript slash something and it's not valid javascript uh, we have to add another uh, slash at the end and the one slash plus two slashes means co it's a comment so the rest will be commented out uh, so if we refresh the page uh, we should see the proper alert and yes uh, we see the alert but the goal of the challenge is to print this flag and we can do that by uh, do uh, by adding in the alert flag that inner HTML we can do that because uh, flag uh, has because the code element has ID flag and as I mentioned before if we create an ID uh, attributes in uh, and uh, in the tag there will be um, a variable in global scope created uh, with that object uh, so this is uh, all the challenge uh, it was quite tricky especially the the part with the domain 
for me, the, the part that took me the most was um, finding a way to escape those attributes. Um, like I, I found out that we, I can create the JavaScript and the, the only thing that was missing for me uh, was uh, this attribute injection. But yeah, I, I tested the new line plus equal sign and yeah, it worked. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested more in security or for example, background you can watch me on lives. I usually stream on Sunday. Follow me on Twitter and uh, please visit me on lives. Thank you. Bye.